Today I will create fractions with like denominators so that I can order fractions and I'll now have it when I can order fractions from least to greatest or greatest to least. So uh, last week in our video we watched a video about uh, using fractions and benchmarks to compare them. Today, however, we're going to be doing it with like denominators, which is very similar to our work with comparing fractions. So in this case, we have one-third, five-sixths, and one-half. What we'll need to do, just like in comparing fractions, is we'll need to find the least common multiple of all three numbers. So I have two, three, and six. My tip here is start with the smallest number and then work up because that might save you some time. So I know it goes 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And then, so that's my first five multiples. Then I'll do 3, 6, and I, I'm going to stop there because I have a 6 here and I have a 6 here. And obviously this number is 6, so I know that that's going to be my least common multiple. From here, we use that same process to convert them into like denominators. So I have 1 third times a fraction equals something over 6. 3 times 2 gives me 6. It has to be 2 over 2 because I need 1 whole because I'm not going to multiply anything by 1 whole. changes the numbers but doesn't change the value. 2 times 1 is 2. So then 1 third is actually 2 6. 5 6 I don't need to do anything to because it's already in 6. And 1 half, 1 half times a fraction equals something over 6. 2 times 3 will give me 6. Make that 3 over 3 for one whole. 3 6. I also knew off the top of my head that 3 6 is 1 half, is equivalent to 1 half. Then finally, all that's left to do is put my fractions in order. I want to see my 2 6 is the smallest, so it's, that's actually my 1 third. And then 3 6 is next, so that's my 1 half. And finally, my 5 6. So that was a way to use like denominators uh, to make, to do my comparing. On this one, I'd like you to pause the video and solve this problem. Hopefully you've gotten a chance to solve this. So I have 3, 5, 10. So 3, 6, 9, 12. 15, there's my first 5, 5, 10, 15, 20. Now I see I have a 5 and a, or I've got a 15 and a 15 in common. However, all my multiples of 10 have to end in 0, so I can't use those. So I know this goes 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Let me extend out my 3s a little bit more. 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. So I see a 30 there, I see a 30 there. I know 5 will go into it because all my multiples of 5 end in 5 or 0. So now I need to convert these. So 7 tenths times a fraction equals something over 30. 10 times 3 is 30. Make that 3 over 3 for one whole. So 21, 21 over 30. Now 4 fifths times something equals something over 30. I know 5 times 6 will give me 30. Make that 6 sixths. So that would give me 24 over 30. And let's see, 2 thirds times something equals something over 30. 3 times 10 will give me 30. 10 over 10 um, is one whole. And then 2 times 10 is 20. So 20 over 30. Last order of business, putting these in order. I notice this time I'm doing greatest to least. So my largest number is the 24 over 30. So that's 4 fifths. Then 7 tenths. And finally, 2 thirds is my final answer. And that's going to finish us up here. Here's a bring back to school that Johnny says the below fractions are in order from greatest to least because he sees 3, 2, 1, and then 12, 6, Three. Is he correct? Explain why or why not. So you'll need to have some work to defend or uh, und or say he's wrong. And I'll see you in the morning.